Welcome, my good friends, my Viking friends, to another Valheim Quick Guide. You might have been wondering, how do you dupe items easily? And then you go check and then you read this about that you have to do certain things and you have to crash the game and everything. That's what I was reading, but there's a much simpler way to actually do that. So we're going to do that in, I think, about three steps. First thing, load into your world. Do this on your local world. It's much easier that way. And let's put in, let's say, our little club here. Or rather, it's not a club, it's the antler pickaxe. Because that one obviously requires you to kill the boss. After that, just log out and quit out of the game. And there's a reason we're doing that on a local save. You could do that on a server, but it's just more tedious. Doing a local save just gives you so much more control of starting that world and quitting that world. If you're interested in more guides for Valheim, check the description. I have a playlist there for you. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and why not subscribe for more of my videos. But the next step is to locate where your save files are. And normally under their C users video, which is my user, app data, local low, Iron Gate, Valheim Worlds. And these are the two saves that I was just playing with right now, Vedite Vikings. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to send them to, uh, let's see, a compressed zip folder. So I'm basically making a backup of them. And that's important. This one is effectively the backup that I will be using. I then go back into my game, select my character that doesn't have that uh, the antler pickaxe anymore because remember I put that inside the chest, load it, and I'm in the game, I go to my chest, and then I pick up my antler pickaxe. So now you might be thinking, well, okay, okay, what's the point of doing that? All you've done is, you know, you put it in a chest and you've reloaded and you've taken it out of the chest. What's the difference? No, no, no. Now comes the cool stuff. Now we do a log out and we leave this world again. And that's why doing a single player is so convenient. Now we go back here and what we do, we're going to go into our zip file. I'm going to open it up. Yes. I'm going to take these two files, which are the ones I just backed up effectively just now. Go back into here. I'm going to basically paste them in and replace them. And what is this magic? Well, because remember when I took the backup, this database file actually has the antler pickaxe inside the chest. Huh. So. We go back into the game, start game, my character, which now has an antler pickaxe in his hand, and we load the save again. And we're back into the game, and you'll notice I have my antler pickaxe here, and I open up the chest, and it's got an antler pickaxe. So now, my character file has actually two of them. This save file has none in the chest, but remember, we have a saved one, a backed up one, that we're using that actually has it inside the chest. So what I can do now again, I can quit out of this world, again, reapply the copy for my backup, load back in, and I will have, again, my character, which will have two of them, and the chest will have a third one. Why does this work, and how weird is this? Well, firstly, it's a sandbox game, so you have full control. You could accomplish this by cheating things in, admin commands and stuff like that, which also works. But if you're going to dupe a bunch of items, just fill up a chest, take it back up, load in, grab the stuff, quit out, and then put back the backup. And now you've duplicated everything. And the reason this works is because the character that you're playing in your specific save actually is not associated with that save at all. It's actually associated with your character that is in your Valheim game. You can actually take that character and go to a totally different server and keep all the stuff you have, keep all your all your skills and stuff like that. It also means that if I take this one, I go into a random friend server and I get killed, then I lose all this stuff, and then when I come back to my own save, I don't have anything at all. So one way of using this one that I think is legit is simply if you're afraid of losing everything because of visiting a friend server, just take a backup, just duplicate your things, put them in the chest. If you visit a server and then they kill you or they do PVP and stuff like that, or it crashes and everything and you don't get things back, then at least you have everything saved in the chest. You can also use this if you find that the game is bugging out and you lose everything because of a bug and you think it's legit just to get back what you had. But remember, it's a sandbox game. If you want to do this, who cares? Your game, your fun, your rules. But that's how simple it is to dupe in Valheim. Make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you again, Viking. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.